Okay, welcome. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up a green screen in Camtasia. Now, originally I tried to do a green screen the other day in, and I tried to do it in Vegas Pro, and it, I couldn't get it to work right. It just didn't look right. And I thought, why don't I just do it and see what it looks like in uh, Camtasia? So, first of all, uh, here's what I look like right now. Uh, obviously, I'm not centered. Obviously, I've got space out here, and that's fine. We'll fix that later. Um, what you're going to first really important that you evenly light your background. If it looks like that, it's hard to mask out because you've got two different colors. You got a dark green and you got a light green. So you want them evenly lit, okay? That's very that's very important for later on. Evenly lit. It, it doesn't matter that much the color as long as it's even. Of course, green helps because it's the opposite of skin tones. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to record at the end of this, I'm going to show you where I was able to highly successful create a green screen and even fool some people on YouTube, um, telling them I was somewhere that I wasn't really. Okay, watch this. I just wanted to say Happy New Year's to everyone. Happy New Year's. I hope for you the best. I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Have the best New Year. 2019 is going to be great. Happy New Year, everyone. Again? Again? Yeah. No, I think I'm done. Okay, here we are in the studio with the movie I just made. Click outside the box, now click yourself. It's pretty good to make it big so you can get in there and see the details and all. All right, doing this is very easy. If the least you need to know is that you need to come over here to visual effects, remove a color, and you can just drag it right here on your clip or down here. I'm gonna drag it on my clip and then come over here to remove a color pick the little color picker and then pick the most common green you see and I would probably come here and notice that it looks still looks a little fuzzy well you can still play with the tolerance right here just kind of barely play with go one number at a time kind of go one way and the other and see which one is better and depending on how good your lighting is set up this is one of the easiest ways to modify and make it look pretty darn good okay and defringe and I'll just play around with these and don't don't make huge movements and you might get a little lost I do believe this is the reset button if you click this over here it'll reset to where it was originally supposed to be so let's do it again I'm gonna pick the color pick a common green then I'm gonna move this and kind of soften it up a bit and you you also don't want the light bouncing off and coming back too much I probably have too much light on there okay so once that's done, of course you want to alt, alt, hold the alt button down and move this in here like that, move this like that, and then you're pretty much done. Okay, that's the least you need to know. For those of you that are interested, let me show you a clip of me on New Year's Day. I really did this. I pretended like I was in New York City on New Year's, New Year's at Times Square, and I had several comments, and I said, thank you, I was just, it was kind of a joke, and I said, thank you to everyone on my YouTube channel, and a lot of them said, oh man, I really thought you were there, I really thought you were there. So this is the video, I'll put a link in the description and on the, the little card up there on how to view this video, and I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this either. I spent maybe 10 minutes just setting it up and doing the best I could. I didn't spend tons and tons of time to get it ready. Um, I tried to do it in, in like I said, Vegas Studio, but I found it was easier to do it in Camtasia editing software. So I got in front of the green screen. I got a movie in the background. I had a, it was a movie. That's a movie you put in the background. And then I put some blue lighting on my face to kind of make it look like I was out in New York. Um, watch this video. I'll, I'll put a link to it. And the way you would do that is... Okay, I'm going to drag in a random movie that I made, a file. I'm going to drag it into my media, media over here. And I'm going to drag that onto my screen right here, okay? Now you notice that, that there's layers. So this is on the top layer. You would want to bring yourself to the top. And notice my gr I'm greened out. So in the New York City video, I had the New York in the background like I just showed you on top down here. Then I've got me underneath where I'm talking. Right now I'm sitting in a chair, obviously, but then then I cropped in the sides, and that's how I was able to make that New York video. And then, of course, share, local file, and then MP4 is what I usually pick. All right, so I'll leave a, uh, Camtasia is really cool. I'm going to keep on doing a bunch of tutorials, and I'll put a link in the description on how to get Camtasia. 
it is pretty much professional grade screen recording software. And I've used OBS in the past and it crashed all to hell on me and I lost a bunch of video. I made a video once that was 30 minutes long and I in OBS and I looked down and the clip was seven minutes long. I had lost 23 minutes. I was so mad because I put a lot of passion into that video. And then I did it again. I made the video again. I got to about 15 minutes. I noticed it stopped at seven minutes again. And I got so angry. I said, screw it. I'm buying Camtasia. And I, and I haven't had any problems since. Also with my camera. It was also laggy. My, my uh, Logitech camera, Brio camera, was laggy in OBS. So I'm a big fan of of Camtasia and I do get credit if you click on the link I am an affiliate so I do get credit just so you know